Hi guys, today is part two of my bathroom organization series. If you missed part one, I covered our bathroom countertops and under our bathroom sink. So I showed you how I organize under my bathroom sink. And if you missed that, I'll put a link below and you can always catch up. But for those of you who did watch it, I hope that you were able to organize your bathroom counters and under your bathroom sink and let me know if you did. Today I'm going to show you how I organize my medicine medicine cabinet. Now I have a very small medicine cabinet, it's right behind me there, and it is not even the standard size of a medicine cabinet. We had to get a little bit smaller uh, medicine cabinet, but I'm able to fit quite a few things in there. Pretty much everything that I need to access quickly is either in my cabinet under my sink or in the medicine cabinet. And I really try not to keep things that I never use in there, so it's just things that I always use and um, need to access quickly. So I have a few um, things that I really like for organ organizing my uh, medicine cabinet, so I'll show you those. So this is inside of my medicine cabinet, and it has three shelves which are adjustable and I think most medicine cabinets have adjustable shelves but I left a little extra room at the top so that I could put our toothbrushes in there and I mentioned last week that it's very important not to keep your toothbrushes on your countertops because all kinds of germs and things are flying around especially if you do not close the toilet seat or someone uses the bathroom and does not uh, close the toilet seat so um, if you didn't know that, that's definitely something to think about. So I just keep our toothbrushes and a toothbrush holder right here on the top shelf. And again, I moved this shelf so that there was enough room. And I have a few of these. These are actually from the Dollar Tree and they are, I think, made for candles, but they're just, um, you know, square glass containers at the Dollar Tree. And um, I'll show you the ones that I have on bottom shelves as well. But the reason that I really like clear glass for in here is that I can see everything. So um, I just think that it's really nice, they're really inexpensive, and I can see everything. I did not want something with a lid that I was going to have to take off every time I wanted a cotton ball or a Q-tip or anything, because in my opinion that would make it a lot easier to break. So um, I just like that it's open and we can just easily grab things that we need because my boys um, keep their toothbrushes in here and use, you know, the Q-tips and everything. So I have some more um, down here. So I'll just go shelf by shelf. So on the top shelf, like I mentioned, it's everything for brushing our teeth. Um, uh, toothpaste in here, we just have a small thing of mouthwash. Um, that's all that would really fit in here, so it just works um, to have that. And if you have a really small space and you don't have room for a big thing of mouthwash, you could probably use just this travel size bottle or even a small bottle and just uh, refill it, and that way it's in here and you can keep the large bottle somewhere else, just a tip in case you're like me and have a really small um, bathroom. And then we just have our dental floss in here. So everything we need for brushing our teeth and um, taking care of our teeth. And then over here, I just have some um, teeth whitening stuff and then um, stuff for one of my boys um, wears braces. So all of the things that he needs for those. So everything for teeth is up there. This shelf is for skincare, so I just um, recently did my skincare routine video, so you guys already know everything that I use, but everything I need for um, skincare is right there. Um, I don't have to dig for anything, it's not on, you know, whatever random s shelf, and it just stays like this pretty much, I mean I wipe it out every once in a while and things like that and clean our toothbrushes, but um, it just stays this way because everything has a spot. And then on the lower shelf, I have this container for Q-tips and a container for um, cotton balls. And again, these are just the square glass containers from the Dollar Tree. Um, my Dollar Tree still has these. They're in the candle section, like I mentioned. And again, I like these because they're in the cabinet. 
um, which I like, and I don't have to worry about any germs getting on them because, you know, you use cotton balls for all kinds of things, you use Q-tips for all kinds of things, and you definitely don't want germs on those. So I like to keep those in the cabinet as well. And again, I don't like to have a lid. It wouldn't fit on this lower shelf. So I, I did move my shelves again so that there's enough room for my toner, but I didn't need a lot of room here, so it just makes sense. And then in this one, I just have my hair ties and clips, and I just use these clips for, you know, when I'm washing my face or whatever. Um, so I just have a few in there, and I have a few bobby pins um, in the bottom, so I can just get those. And I don't wear a lot of things in my hair. I just use hair ties for, you know, when I need to pull my hair back for the gym. But I saw this, well, it was something similar on Pinterest one day, and I was like, that's such a great idea. Um, they actually use a different kind of hook, but we actually had this in the house, and I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but um, this is actually um, just a ring that you would use to put um, through uh, paper, like um, there was a hole punch in the paper and you wanted to clip them all together. We had this, um, I don't know, in my husband's office or something, and I thought it was a great thing for hair ties because it keeps them all together because if I just threw them all in here, they'd get all tangled in with the clips and you would, you know, try to find a brown one or whatever and you'd have to dig through. Well, they're right on here. They all stay together and um, nice and neat. So I just stick that right on top there. So that is my medicine cabinet. Nothing fancy, but it does stay nice and organized. There isn't um, anything in there that we don't use. Um, I make sure to just keep products that we use and they're easily accessible. So I hope you found some helpful tips and I hope that you will organize your medicine cabinet and stay tuned for next week. Next Wednesday, I plan to show you how I organize my makeup.